Don. It's a tough time for people living in Florida right now. It is, and it's been such a slow mover this afternoon. We're taking a look at uh, the eye. Here's Fort Myers. Uh, we just saw that live picture from, and here's the eye now east of Port Charlotte starting to fill in. But Fort Myers, they still see the winds coming out of the east, so they're still seeing that ocean push up in with that storm surge. They just haven't seen any relief from that, and it could be several hours before that storm surge subsides in that area. Now, heavy rain working from Daytona down to Orlando, up toward Jacksonville, and this is expected to cross Florida tonight before working back out to sea. For the latest path that just came in from the National Hurricane Center, let's continue our team coverage with meteorologist Robert Johnson and Robert. What are they saying at NHC? Well, we do have a bit of good news, and it is the, in the sense of the stats that uh, Hurricane Ian is now a little bit weaker. It's still a monster of a storm, still a Category 4 with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, gusts up to 180, and it is still slowly just inching to the northeast at 8 miles per hour, and it will continue its track through Florida, sliding just northeast through Orlando, and then moving off of the coast of Florida tomorrow, back off into the Atlantic, into the Gulf Stream, and then making landfall somewhere around Savannah, Georgia. Maybe it's Georgia, maybe it's to the east into parts of South Carolina. That landfall would occur Friday afternoon or sometime Friday evening, then slide through South Carolina, weaken into a tropical depression as it moves across our mountains. Tomorrow is the breezy day, but Friday is the windy day. So here's Thursday afternoon with gusty winds, winds gusting up to 30 to 35 miles per hour with most of the peak wind gusts being south and east of the triangle. Then we'll take you into Friday morning here about six o'clock wind gust 25 to 30 and then the winds really start to kick up by Friday afternoon. Here's 12 noon winds gusting close to 40 miles per hour in the sand hills and then by six o'clock on Friday winds gusting close to 40 miles per hour in the triangle and it's some wind gusts potentially for one or two areas up to 50 miles per hour in parts of the sand hills one or two places before the wind slacken on Friday. So really Friday is the day to watch Don. All right, thanks Robert and uh, you heard Robert right there. The winds really starting to pick up tomorrow. So right now, well, right after ABC 11 at six, go outside and get everything secured that could blow away. You want to get it taken care of tonight because it could start to be a problem tomorrow. Overnight 51 in Henderson, 52 Smithfield, 57 tonight in Clinton, 40s in Roxborough. Satellite radar shows the clouds already streaming through from Ian. The shower still off the coast. So let's run through our first alert predictor forecast model to give you an idea of the time and the clouds are with us all day tomorrow. Not a ton of sunshine working through. I think by this time tomorrow night, uh, this is underdoing it a bit. I think we could see some showers pushing up toward Raleigh, certainly in our southeastern counties, the potential to see some shower activity working through as we go through tomorrow night into Friday, Friday morning. That's when the heavier rain arrives. It will get very wet around here, and then the heaviest rain works through on the through the day on Friday. Forecast looks like this for tomorrow. Expect 71 degrees, mostly cloudy, breezy. That slight chance of showers south and east of the triangle. Seven day forecast powered by AccuWeather showing those numbers continuing to stay cool. We're in the 70s all the way to next week. Friday is our first alert day. We had Saturday in there. If you've watched the past couple of nights, I've taken it out because I don't think the rain's going to be as heavy on Saturday. I don't think I think the winds will start to calm a little. It's still going to be a mess, but it's not going to be really nasty. I think that's on Friday, Sunday, 71, Monday, 66 and showers moving out of here.